And welcome back, fabulous fourth graders, math masters. We're going to get right to it. Our problem set, thanks to uh, Adon and Ms. Morgan, who found out I did the homework last night, and not the problem set. So it says estimate, and then solve each problem. So we're going to estimate first. Model the problem with a tape diagram. Explain your answer is reasonable. Okay, so let's get started. For the bake sale, Connie baked 144 cookies. Esther baked 49 more cookies than Connie. All right. So we have a lot going on here already. Bake sale is going to be a real complicated mess. But we'll get to it. So, let's start. They kind of gave us a simple problem to start with. Thank you very much. Okay, it says about how many cookies did Carmen and Esther bake? Estimate rounding each number to the nearest 10 before adding. So we have 144. And 49. And we're rounding to the nearest what? If you remember correctly, you would say to the nearest 10. So the midway point between 1 or 0 and 10 is 5. So we can see that this one would be rounded, would stay 4. It wouldn't go up to 5. So we'd round that to 140. And over here, look, we have a 9. So is this closer to 50 or 40? Well, it's definitely closer to 50. So, estimate by rounding each number to the nearest 10 before adding. So let's go ahead and add these. 140 and 50. Sorry about that helicopter. There's 0. 4 plus 5 is 9. And drop down the 1. So we have 190. So they baked, and here's the big word in estimation, about 190 cookies. Just about. That's the big word when we talk about estimate. Okay, now it says exactly how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake. So now they're looking for exact. So we have 144 plus 49. 144 plus 49. If you want, you can make a place value chart over here. There's ones, tens, hundreds. So we have 144, 1, 40, and 4. And then we have 49. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember that we could use these to regroup and to make it all, you know, clear as can be. But we're getting pretty good at addition, I think. Well, we don't really need this, okay? So let's go 4 plus 9. Well, let's go back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we could circle those. I really like doing this. I don't know why. It's kind of cool. So 4 plus 9 would be 3 and a 1 over there, 13. And so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? And look, 4, 8, 9. And then we have 100. So let's put they baked exactly 193 cookies. So that much we do know. Now let's go to our last one here. Our last part of the problem set. And it says is your answer reasonable? Compare your estimate from A to the actual uh, from B. Write a sentence to explain your reasoning. So look at our estimate, 190. And look at our actual, 193. 
Well, which is greater? Let's do a little review of that. Annie the alligator eats 193. But look, they're only three apart. My answer is reasonable. Because 193 is only how much greater? Three greater than 190. So by checking this way, by rounding, we could see that our answer is reasonable. We could be pretty sure that we're correct in all of this. Okay? So go ahead and pause if you need to. Pause the recording, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, and we're going to do the back side of the problem set. Oh, and I didn't do this. I'm so sorry. Page 41. Today's date is 0902. 2020. So it's page 41 uh, and problem set number uh, 12. So let's flip the page over. And it says uh, raffle tickets were sold for a school fundraiser to parents, teachers, and students. Okay, we know that. 160, oh, excuse me, 563 tickets were sold to teachers. 888 more tickets were sold to students than to teachers. 904 tickets were sold to parents. Okay, so let's circle these numbers going on here. And then it says um, about, there's the keyword, how many tickets were sold to parents, teachers, and students? Round each number to the nearest hundred to find your answer. So their first number is 563. And we're going to round. Our next number is 888. And we're going to round. And our last number is 904. And we're going to round. And what are we rounding to? Well, the instructions said we are rounding to the nearest hundred. So what you're looking at is if the digit in the following tens place, or in the place value, 6, 8, and 0, is greater than 50, because halfway between 0 and 100 is 50. So is this greater than 50? Yeah, it's 63, so we would round up to 600. Is this greater than 50? Yes, so we would round up to 900. Is this greater than 50? No, it's just 4, so we would stay at 900. Now we're ready to add. And I put the big numbers on top. Makes it a little easier. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 9 or 9 times 2 is 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now we're ready to write. We read. We kind of drew. We could say uh, about 2,400 tickets were sold. Period. Okay. Let's continue on. It says exactly how many tickets were sold to the parents, teachers, and students. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these in order from greatest to least, because I always find that easier to add. And you write this down too, we're copycats. Add this up. I'm going to give you a minute to add it all up. Okay, if you haven't got it yet, go ahead and pause the recording. 8 plus 4, 4 plus 8, 8 ones plus 4 ones is 12, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Add on 3 ones, 13, 14, 15. We get 15 ones. So I put my 5 there and my 1 over here. 8 plus 8 tens plus 6 tens. How many tens is that? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tens plus another one would be 15 tens. And we have our 1 here. Now, here's a little shortcut. We take 9 plus 1 is 10, right? 9 hundredths plus 1 hundredths would be 10 hundredths. Then add on the 8, that's 18 hundredths. Then 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 hundredths. So 2,355. So we could say 2,355 tickets were sold. Period. 
Now, is our answer reasonable? Let's take a look. Look back here at 2400 and at 23, uh, 2355. It's only 45 off, right? So it's pretty reasonable. It says here, um, assess the reasonableness of your answer and B, use your estimate from A to explain. Well, we could say my, and please write this down because you gotta get in that practice, is reasonable because 2,355 is near 2,400. You see how that estimate works? And just think about if we were to estimate to the nearest 10, we would get a closer um, number. Let's just give that a quick try. 563, 888, and 904. And let's just do to the nearest 10 for fun, okay? So go ahead and write those down. And we're gonna round to the nearest 10. And you'll see we'll get even a closer number, I think, than rounding to the nearest 100. So 563, the nearest 10, excuse me, the midpoint is five between zero and 10. So this would be 560. Over here, eight is, 80 is greater than 50, so we'd round up to 890. And then this is closer to 900 than it is to 910, it's 904, so we get 900. So we can add all these up, 900 plus 890 plus 560, and watch how close we'll get. 0, 0, 0, 0, 9 plus 6 is 15, bring up the 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus the 8 is 18, and then 23, and we get 2,350. Yeah, actually, it was a little, it wasn't quite as close. I thought it would be closer. Did I do that right? Uh, oh no, I didn't. 9 plus 8, 17, 22, yeah, I did. 23, 50, it wasn't quite as close as the other one. I thought it would be. Oh well, live and learn. But we're still very close and we can see that our answer is reasonable. But what am I, look at here. We're at 2350, look how close we are. Mr. Lee was being silly. We're only five away from 2355. So there we have it. It was closer than 2,400. I knew it would be. Hey, it's the end of the day and Mr. Lake gets a little tired making a few mistakes and that's okay because we learn from our mistakes. All right, um, go ahead and log on to Zern Math after you take a break. Go to the restroom, drink some water. That's the math mutt barking. Go say hi to your uh, mom and dad. Say hello to your brothers and sisters or go pet the family pet, the dog, the cat, whatever you may have. And then log on to Zern at 10.30, it's recess.